Wrong button. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Lost Style. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're gonna be taking out this Alpha Carno right here. Uh, yeah, that's the entire episode. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I'm over here in the dude. I gotta land. Seriously, I gotta land first, man. Um. Uh, but yeah, I'm over here in the desert because we need to get some uh, organic polymer in order to make. Come on. In order to make some scuba gear, because I think today we're finally, finally going to take Sea Pickle out for a journey. Um, I've been over taking a look at the uh, um, the temple, and for some strange reason, it just hasn't respawned um, on my game. I've been wanting to get over there and go farm it again, but it just hasn't been working. So, yeah, that's the thing. All right, go ahead, eat all that fry meat. Nobody else is going to use it right now. All right, but yeah, we need to go find some mantises, and we need to... Did that guy drop anything? Oh, he did. Oh. There's that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um... Hmm. Maelstrom's almost up there in hit points already. All right, nice. All right, but yeah, um, I need to go... What was I talking about? Sea Pickle! Yeah, uh, we've had Sea Pickle for a long time, and I haven't been able to take him out underwater. And that's a Thyla. And there's another one to my right as well. 20. All right. All right. If you see a Thyla, you have to take a look at the Thyla through the spyglass. That's the rules, all right? You just have to. If you see a Thyla, must scope out Thyla. Go, ooh, ah, oh, look, there's a Thyla. And then if it's low level, then you go, oh, okay. And then you go about your business. But if it's high level, then you uh, go and you tame it. That's the rules. I'm just following them, right? I am going to get this loot. And we got to go see if we can find a mantis. Oh, hey, look. Found a mantis. Oh. Okay. So apparently I just got smacked in the butt, most probably. And I may need to go find some more mantis because apparently my inventory was filled up with uh, prime meat. Okay, can I actually loot this now? It actually looks like it had some good stuff in it. Send an Araneo saddle. That's something I'll probably never use. They were too saddle. All right, that's all right. That's decent. All right, uh, let me see. Prime. Drop all that. Thank you. All right, we need more mantises. Any uh, volunteers? No? What about you, dude? Are you volunteering? You're not a mantis. Even if you could volunteer, you wouldn't be able to change into a mantis. Good try. Jeez. Hey, dude. Later, dude. Thank you. Hey, dude. Later, dude. All right, that should be enough. All right. I'm going to grab up a few of these uh, bits of loot, and then uh, we're going to head back over to the base after we kill that jug bug because he was just asking for it. And then we're going to go make some uh, scuba. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get a little bit more of this. But yeah, I, um, if the loot on land is not cooperating, then we're going to go underwater and go get that stuff to cooperate. I think that's a great idea. Just absolutely terrific. All right, so hey, I'm going to be doing this, and I will see you guys in just a bit. All right, uh, so this is all the stuff that I got from over there. We'll take a look at it here in a sec. Oh, uh, no, 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 this, this, thank you, thank you, thank you, no, 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 uh, 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 and then you can have, uh, that back, and who would have thought, Kitan would be, wrong button, so, uh, who would have thought Kitan would be so easy over in the desert, where all the chitinous creatures live, right, okay, uh, let's see, so I got, uh, simple ammo, all right, you know, that one can go on the ground, uh, we'll save one, I got tents, uh, 
Apprentice Pariser Saddle, 38 armor, not bad. A Chitin Armor Anki Saddle, uh, as an Araneo, uh, Sabertooth, and then just all this other stuff. But hey, you know what? You know, I probably shouldn't have seen. Oh, we, we've got three grenade blueprints. I don't think I need that many. Just saying. What is that? Echo Saddle. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the Echo Saddle we got out of the one. And Terrorbird Saddle. Huh. Starting to get a good collection. Too bad it's not the ones we want. Capro. Two Anki saddles. Huh. All right. Okay, so let's see. Jur. Oh. Oh, Mark Sword saddle. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, so if you were. Scuba, you would be right here. All right, so now we're almost out of Ingrams. Armor, Scuba, missing cementing paste, keratin, chitin. Wait, what? There's polymer. Okay, I, I, apparently I got a little bit too much polymer. All right, we need silica pearls. Silica pearls are... They sh I should have a bunch of them in here. <laughs> yeah, my trips out into the open ocean to grab silica pearls has finally paid off. A little bit more than it already did. All right, let's see. Uh, so armor, scuba. Got that. Need cementic paste. Metal ingots. And metal ingots. All right, so... Nailed that. And... Some strange reason, I may have a little bit of chitin keratin around here. Just for some weird reason. You know, we're gonna grab some height. Just in case. Alright, good job, Maelstrom. Alright, so turn that sucker on. Armor, scuba. Oh, we still need cementic kites. I'm gonna make four of those. All right. Uh, where's the cementy paste? Is it over here? Yeah. Nailed it. And one pair of flippers. So three tanks. One leather pants. One flipper. And one mask. All right. And they, these are. I mean, I know, I realize they're wetsuit pants, but. They're, they're totally leather pants. Here, let me show you here in a sec. Get out here into the direct sunlight because they're almost yoga pants. See? <laughs> I mean, I know they're wetsuits, and, but uh, yeah. So uh, we've got yoga pants now. It's fine. It's fine. All right? Don't worry. Uh, let's go grab uh, a sea pickle. And we're going to leave green here because we really don't even need to put green in the line of fire or in any danger. And we're just going to go with Sea Peckle. We're going to go flying. Oh, how many? Oh, just one level? Yeah, you have 30,000 hit points already. Hmm. As I slowly drown. Here, let's give you a little bit of stamina. Put you inside of here, Sea Pickle. And we're finally going to be able to take you out and go exploring. All right. And... Yoga pants have landed. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, We're probably going to take Maelstrom. I'm just going to switch over everything over here. Here you go, Nurse Ratchet. Enjoy. All right, uh, let's go and let's go uh, see because I know on this map over on the far side, um, there's a ton of uh, red drops um, underwater. And I think we're going to go look over there just to see what kind of stuff we can see over there. Um, I know there's a whole bunch underneath all the water, but I really, really want to, uh, you know, I'm going to grab some narcotics just in case we see something we want. 
Actually, you know what? We're just gonna go. Ex you know what? I'm gonna grab some narcotics and some other stuff, uh, some uh, more arrows and such, just in just in case. And also make sure the handy dandy uh, crossbow is repaired, which I do believe it is. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. The uh, arrow, arrow. Oh, we need to get narcotics. You know what? I'm gonna spend a few minutes getting narcotics because if I'm taking these narcotics, I need to replenish these narcotics. So I'm going to do that really quick. I will see you guys in just a bit. All right. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, narcotics going. And now I need to figure out where I left my wyvern. It's such a small thing. It's easy to lose in here. All right. There you go, Maelstrom. You were hiding behind Nurse Ratchet. Good job. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head over here. And also, while I'm flying, I want to keep an eye out for Therizinas. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um... And also, I've got a whole ton of uh, um, arrows that, uh, just in case. All right, so let's get over here. Um, I want to take a quick look. I know there's a couple spots around the other side, but I do think that maybe there's a couple uh, parking spots. Uh, we'll go uh, take a look. I just hope it's not paid parking. So, uh, you know, if, and if it is, I've got a wiver just in case they get all snippety. You know about uh, tickets and everything like that. I'm um, yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. All right, so let's get over here. I'm going to uh, be skirting this area. There's one spot over here. I want to fly this direction because there's a big area over there where I know Therizina spawn, and I I'm in the market for a Therizina. I think it could be cool. You know what? Yeah. All right, let's do that. I was gonna say you know maybe I do need the Thyla, but you know I don't think I do. Uh, I have a Cynomacrop, uh, so um, I think I'll be fine without the file for now. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Hmm, yellow drop in the jungle. Could this be luring me into something? Nah, it'll be fine. What bad stuff ever happened in the middle of a dense jungle, right? Okay, so Apprentice, uh, Apprentice Diplodocus Saddle. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, quite literally. I love this spot. Like there may, is that yellow or is that white? That's white, that's vastly uh, underpowered for that area. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yellow. Okay, moving on. Apparently there was a flying Spino. I don't know what he was doing up there. Um, that was odd. Yeah, there's something wrong when Spinos start flying. Next thing you know, he'll have a buddy and then they'll come track you down. Clear across the map, yep. How it is. How it works. Purple with a ring. I'm just like loot crazy right now. You have to excuse me for a sec. <laughs> Alright, give me loot. I've been waiting patiently. Yeah. Not worth it. Alright, now a couple things I've always wanted to do since this map came out is I've wanted to explore around this area underwater because it is such a vast area, so I'm rather curious. Yeah, hey guys, don't worry, I'm here. Yeah, um, I realize my uh, Sonoma crops just uh, smacked you in the face, but it's okay. It's okay, don't worry, I come as a friend, really, until the Sonoma crops needs to... Uh, uh, smack you in the face again and pay no mind to the shotgun. It's fine. I am friendly. I swear I bet yeah, this island right here on the corner way way up here. This is kind of amazing uh, It's it's not really a uh, um, herbivore island, but it is very very uh, uh, Safe um, you'll have compy stuff like that and you even have your own little bit of crystal right back in here It's really cool yeah, and it's and it, it it's regular crystal, but it has a greenish glow when it's there, which makes it even better. Yes. 
Alright, uh, let's see. I believe there's also metal up here as well, too. Yep, right here. This is a great island. I mean, if you built right up here on the front... What's that? Hmm? What was that? I heard something. I, but yeah, if you build right up here on the front, you could pretty much uh, have all that metal and crystal just left alone back there. And what level are you, dude? Ah, uh, two high levels. Level 60. All right. All right. So, hey, I'm going to drop off some stuff here because um, we don't really need to carry all the stuff. This. Some of this stuff really doesn't do any good out in the ocean. That will. That will help out quite a bit. All right. Ah, sea turtles. Ah, equipped in my black leather stuff, or it's a full, bo it's a, it's a yoga bodysuit. There we go, with the face mask. It allows us to breathe. Hello. Hey, it's a great welcoming to the area. Man, I want to go see uh, what's over here. This is wicked cool. I mean, look at this. Oh, hello, Mr. Shark. Are oh, you just coming right at me, huh? Saying hi? Welcome to the neighborhood? I agree. Thanks, man. And, of course, his buddy came from... Oh, that was 140. Dang. Hey, dude. curious to see what else we can find over here. Looking around. Oh, that was another one for it. Oh, dang. Okay. All right. All right. See what else we can see. What is this way down here? Something's sparkling. That's silica pearls. All right. This is really, really cool down here. Get some tech stuff and make a uh, underwater base right here. That'd be wicked cool. Let's get looking over here. Yeah, this is my first time way deep underwater where I can actually look around. And I can do it safely because I have a sea pickle! And there's a shark. And a dolphin. Ravines are really cool. More silica pearls on the side. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, pleasies. You know, I was actually just thinking, you know what we haven't seen yet? Pleasies. And then now we have. So, hey, we've accomplished that feat. All right. All right, I'm going to get looking around down here. I am really enjoying this. There are a couple places I really want to go take a look at. But for the most part, I'm just going to be looking around.
All right, Mr. Pleasy, come on. Say hi. Come on around to the front. I know you always will. Thank you. I see something up there I want to take a look at really quick as soon as this Pleasy dies. All right, Pleasy's dead. Let's take a look over here. What is this? If it's anything. It's just an alcove. Sorry, fish! Yeah, yeah, sorry. My foo gets a little snippety when he sees a bunch of fish. Sorry. Alright, let's get looking a little bit more over here. Alright, now this is looking a bit ominous. There's like nothing out here and then all of a sudden just bam, right here. I'm gonna go see what's down here. Oh, this is just a dip. Oh, dang, that's rather anticlimactic. It was kind of cool, though. Like this big, huge thing up there. It's like, oh, you know, I'll bring everybody back. It might be something cool down here. Nope, nope, no, 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 there wasn't. Which way are we headed? Let's go over here. Oh, hey, look! This is my first sighting of Snyderia out here. They're rather sparse in this ocean, which is kind of cool. What is this? Oh, it's just coral. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen more angler fish, to be honest. Oh, it's over here. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, there's a little cave here. Up there. Right here. Okay. And apparently I'm seeing double. Am I going to start taking damage? Going down deep. Wow, that is a lot of snide area. Okay. Look at all these snide area. Wow. Yeah, screw narcotics. Yeah, that's just a little bit of biotoxin now. And it's the beauty part about a Basilosaurus. <laughs> Alright, so this will now and forever be known as Snyderia Cave. And I am stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so it goes left and it goes right. Let's go left. Is that a little cave? We had a wall. Night area. Another one over here, I think. Oh, hello. I'm on. Something down here? No, there is not. Get out of here. Alright. Let's go see what we can see in the sea with our typical starting to take damage. Now how far down does this go? Let's turn around, let's go back up. And we're not taking a ton of damage, but it is damaging. Oh yeah, we're doing fine. It's just enough to say, hey, you're getting deep.
And there's more Snide area. Wow, this place is just infested. And they just keep coming. Get all these down inside of here. So much biotoxin. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be encumbered with biotoxin. I am encumbered with biotoxin. Holy. I'll throw out the shoes. That'll make room, right? See what else there is down here. I mean, if there's this much down here, this much snide area, there's got to be something important down here. Apparently, I'm tired. It's just from getting smacked with all the snide area. I just need to pop off and back on. Over this way. this take me? Oh, to the zone border. All right. That's kooky. All right. Okay, so I came back down here because it looked like there was something I was missing. But hey, there's loot. Now I just need to kill these guys. You high level snide area. Alright, not bad. Purse or saddle, gilly chest piece, and we're barely take. Oh, hello. I'm gonna see what else there is down here. And there's another path up. I wanna. Oh, hey, look! Your Ripterids, lovely. another Eurypterid, and it's gonna sap my stamina. I saw it over here just a sec. There we go. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Alright, poison's gone. Woo! Alright, let's see. Make sure there's not any more. Oh, this is good loot. Flip around. Bit claustrophobic in here. Good loot, though. Let's get up this way. That's pretty cool. All right, that's my first tank broke. I'm just down here exploring all sorts of different things, all sorts of nooks and crannies. This place is pretty cool. I am really enjoying this adventure so far. This is, it, it's nice to actually get a complete different change of pace. And by change of pace, I mean uh, try to speed through a whole bunch of, uh, uh, electric eels and everything like that, and then uh, evade sharks every once in a while, stop and eat a few of them because I'm tired of like a bunch of like 15 of them following me. But so far, it's actually not been too bad. This place is absolutely massive, though. I mean, absolutely massive. This is great. And speak of the devil. Yeah, Mr. Shark, just really, really. Come on. Oh, man, what is this? 
Oh, this is cool. That's a sunken ship. That's a big one, too. That is neat. There's the bottom half broken off down here. Or the back half. All right. That is so cool. That's neat. All right, the funniest part is, I was down there exploring for a good 45 minutes to an hour, and I only made it that far away from the island. There's so much down here. That is so cool. The ship was really awesome. All right, let's move over to another spot. All right, now this is kooky. Oh, man. Look at this fog. Oh, that is really cool out of an effect. It would suck if it's all the time, but oh, my gosh. That's like a visible fog of war right here. That is funky. I like that. That, it, that's cool. That's something I wasn't expecting to see. A parrotfish school. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I've, uh, I went back over to, uh, my main island and I'm just kind of cruising around there. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff around here. I've already found a couple loot drops, uh, stuff like that. And, of course, there's a dude on my butt. Alright, come here, dude. There's a lot of cool stuff that's just all around my island that I just didn't even realize was here. Oh, that was a 145. Okay, nobody saw that. Hello. Right, that was a bunch of those little dudes. But yeah, I was not expecting to see a parrotfish school. Is there turtles? Like, the only reason to have those is for turtles. What is this? Oh, whoa. It just goes deeper. And deeper. Take damage. Eh, not that much damage. Anything down here on the bottom? This is so cool looking, though. Oh, man. All right. All right. Well, hey, I am cruising back. I've been taking a look at a whole bunch of stuff over here. Uh, this underwater is just absolutely amazing in this. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's... I, I, I let the time run away from me, <laughs> honestly. I've been out here just kind of oohing and on underwater for a long time. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, yeah, so far, that underwater cave that I found earlier, that one, I, I may have to check that out uh, a couple more times. That was just so much uh, biotoxin, plus also some loot to boot, which is amazing. All right, so hey, anyway, I hope everybody had a fun time. I know I did. Uh, yeah, hey, so if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, uh, yeah, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. I think I'm going to see if I can find a little bit more biotoxin and then head my butt back to base because uh, I ended up having to throw out just like 3,000 biotoxin. I've got, I think, 2,000 back in the base. And come on, when you, when you had 5,000 biotoxin, you need to get back 5,000 biotoxin. I'm just saying, right? All right, take it easy, everybody.